welcome back. I'm so glad you're joining me today. I have been up and ready to clean things. I woke up in cleaning mode for whatever reason. It doesn't happen very often, but today I'm taking full advantage of the way I feel and I've got the vacuum going. You've seen that I've got laundry going in the video and it feels good to have so much done early on in the day. We've had so many storms uh, this past couple weeks that we've been really just kept inside. And yesterday we were able to have one sunny day. It's been so long since we've seen the sunshine. And I took advantage of being out there in the sun and we worked in the yard, my daughter and myself, we were out there mowing, weed whacking, pulling weeds, cleaning up. Um, after storms like that, it just thrashes our yard. And looking out there, it just was bothering me so bad. And with it being so sunny, we didn't want to be inside. So the whole day we were just out there cleaning. And as I was out there, my garden, oddly enough, in the middle of winter, I'm seeing blooms of flowers coming up. My tulips are starting to come up. And it just got me really excited for the spring and summer garden this year. It's going to be beautiful. And I have some projects that I want to do out there this spring and summer. And I do not want to be in this house cooped up like we are. So I'm really looking forward to ordering seeds and getting those plans underway. And it got me thinking since we're in here all huddled up inside and we've gotten a lot of projects done over the last few weeks as i've shared here with you our bedrooms feel great we're decluttering spaces i want to continue doing so so that way come spring come summer i'm not having to come in here and worry about clutter or little places that should have been cleaned or could have been cleaned uh, had i just made the decision to clean them uh now why i have the time so that's what I'm doing today is just not just getting our regular general cleaning done, but I want to find spaces that need my attention. And this space I picked for today's declutter is a closet that's kind of a catch-all because we don't have a lot of closet space in this house. Our house is just over 70 years old. And if you've ever lived in a home that's maybe 50 plus years old uh, or older, you know that there's not a lot of closet spaces in homes like that. And so if you don't have a place for it already, maybe you know in a drawer or something, it is hard to find places for things that just randomly come into your home. So I have been for the last couple of weeks opening up this uh, linen closet. <laughs> it's supposed to be a linen closet. It is not a linen closet uh, in our house uh, for us, but I open it up and things fall out at me and it's very frustrating and very annoying. So I want to go in there and just clean it out and get it nice and orderly. And so that way we have some room for our linens and for anything that needs to be stored there. That's what I'm gonna be doing in addition to our regular cleaning today. And I'm gonna bring you along and I hope that you enjoy today's video.
have the middle shelf almost done. I found these little um, random boxes, little half boxes to just reuse. This is like the laundry box. I have our iron in there, um, our starch, um, our sew kit, and just homemade for breeze. Anything like that is in this box here in the center. And I have light bulbs of all different kinds in this other half box. I don't usually go buy baskets for this because nobody ever looks in our whole closet. Why not just reuse little boxes that you find to keep your things nice and neat? At least that's how I think. But anyway, so over here is our pest control. As you can see, I do not like bugs. So I have all of our citronella and our incense for bugs, our bug fly, um, little fans that I have. I've showed you guys those many times. I love these fly fans. They are fantastic during the summertime. I will actually link these here below because these are just so great. All you do is put batteries in them and then pop them on and they just keep the flies away. I will have those linked for you below, but yeah, that's where I'm storing them with our bug supply. And I have some soap back there. And this is all sort of just random SPF, um, stuff for the pool, um, medicine or stuff for colds. It's a lot better. And this is where I'm at so far. With having all of these board games, I found this really cool hack and I don't think it's going to work for all the uh, game that I have, but I think for some, it'll definitely help me. So you have Ziploc bags and we have our Sharpie. So what I'm gonna do is take out the game pieces and label each lip block bag to get rid of the bulky boxes. I have a basket to put everything in so that way it just looks better and it's nice and clean and organized. Have all the board games some needed labels and some did not some were obviously the game that you needed so you can just look at that and then I have our packs of cards in the front and I decided to keep the puzzles in the boxes because obviously you need to look at the puzzle um, to you know figure out what pieces you need I'm hoping that that saves me a lot of room in the closet and these are all the ones that have either this is a puzzle, but the rest have like boards and bigger pieces that won't fit into the bag. So they have to go back in as they were. There we have, we have plenty of space for more linen. I have everything sort of stacked as neatly as it's gonna be for fitted sheets, but that's as good as that's gonna get, but it looks so much better. There's more room in here to put more things. The middle shelf is nice and organized, everything where it needs to be. And the game shelf is just the game shelf. Now, there's still a lot in here, but 
it's not all over the shelves. There's a designated game shelf now and a designated storage shelf for just odds and ends and a part of a linen closet. All right, so that is it for today's video. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this encourages you to find spaces in your home that need your attention and just begin decluttering because it's actually very therapeutic and it feels really good to get it done. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you guys on the next one.